My name is Masayoshi Sugo. I'm 32, and I can't stand injustice. Since I'm bad at adjusting to others, I don't get along with women, so I'm still single. A while ago, I was scouted into my aunt's company, and I've been doing cleanup of useless higher-ups, this time as well. Masayoshi? What is it this time? Please go to the General Affairs Department this time. Another monster? Please take care of it. What higher-up is it this time? He's just an average employee. What? That's the monster? You'll know when you get there. The previous boss couldn't stand her. What kind of person is it this time? When I went to the department the next day... Good morning. You must be our new boss. You're so young, you must be very talented. I'm Yahata. I'm 25, single and ready to mingle. I found the monster. Huh? Nothing. I'm Masayoshi Sugo. It's nice to meet you. The monster of the General Affairs Department was an outgoing woman named Yahata. She would do any work that was asked of her without batting an eye, and when she came to the department, she was heavily praised for being hardworking. But in reality... Hello, Mr. Mayoshi. Good day to you. Would you like to go out for a drink? It's still working hours. But I'm done with my job. What about the papers you took over from the sales department a few days ago? Oh, that? I couldn't handle it, so I gave it to someone else. Again? You did the same things last time, too. Do you remember? But isn't it worse to keep it in my hands and not complete it? Then why did you take over something you can't do? I can't decline anyone's offers. Did you ask for advice before giving it to someone else? Wouldn't that be a waste of time? It isn't a waste if you learn how to do it in the process. None. Can you teach me how to do it? Sure. Come an hour later. I'll teach you. Sorry. I'm a little busy today. You said you were done with work today. I remembered something. Hus, I have to go back home afterwards. Then let's do it first thing tomorrow. <laughs> I get to have a date with Mr. Mayoshi tomorrow. Let's go to a cafe. It's work, so please come to the office. You can get coffee and come if you want. What about the cafe? This is work. Okay. She would soak up other departments' jobs, and instead of doing them herself, she would hand them over to others. Because of her, the other people in her department have been overworking. All the while, she would run back home right on the hour, leaving everyone else. The next day... Mr. Mayoshi! Sorry, I will be absent today. Good morning. Are you sick? Yes. Do you have a fever? No. Nope. Can you go get a checkup? Don't make me say it. Say what? It's a girl's thing. Okay, I understand. Can I ask one thing? Yes? I'll be straight. You took a menstrual leave last week, too, is that correct? And two, three weeks ago, too? I'm a male, and I don't understand how hard it is. But does your cycle come two or three times a month? You search that up? It's a boss's duty to manage his subordinate. And? A woman's body is naive. And is it the sexual harassment? If this is the case, please go get it checked out. We need to balance your needs with those of other employees. If you have a doctor's note, then this wouldn't be an issue. Okay. Also, what about the work you had planned for today? Wasn't the deadline pretty close? No way! I can't do that! You take care of it! She hung up on me. I didn't want to ask about a woman's cycle either. And I even thought it was sexual harassment too. But her attendance record is a greater issue. She'll take a menstrual leave two or three times every month, using up all of her PTO. And in the winter, she would have a flu without bringing in a doctor's note. In total, she was absent once a day, every week. And everyone has to pick up her slack. I had to do something about this, or the department will blow a fuse. The next day, she came in, looking healthier than ever. Sorry, I'm okay now. Thank you for your concerns. And apologized to everyone, but she didn't pick up any of her leftover work and sat down. I could hear the whole department sigh in their hearts. Mr. Mayoshi, would you like to get a drink to celebrate my return? Did you get a checkup? I'm back, so I don't think I need to go. <sighs> this was when, like with everyone else, the COVID outbreak hit our company as well. Lucky for us, no one got the virus, but the back office began working from home. They received cameras with built-in speakers and had meetings to receive instructions quite often. Typically, working from home wouldn't be an issue, but for her... Yeah, working from home is fun. You're just going to slack off. I won't let you. I scheduled a daily meeting in the morning, after lunch, 
and in the afternoon for the department, to check up on everyone's work throughout the day. By doing so, I thought I'd be able to manage the monster. However, Mrs. Yahata, please turn on your video. Sorry, I don't know how to. You just have to connect it to your PC. I did, but it isn't working. Then you can join just by voice for today. Okay. I wasn't expecting her to do that. What can I do now? Even if I allocate work to her, she doesn't know how to do it. Even if I try to teach her how to do it, she can't share her screen because the camera doesn't work. If I reach out to her during meetings, she doesn't respond and says, I didn't realize I was on mute, lol. Justice mode, on. I can't let her keep getting away like this. I contacted the people in the systems department and figured out how to expose her bad deeds. I know a way. With the help of the system engineer, we were able to expose her. The next day's meeting... Sorry, the camera just isn't working. Sure enough, Mrs. Yahata didn't show herself, and we could only hear her voice. However... What? We all couldn't believe our eyes because... Mrs. Yahata? Hello? Sorry about the camera. I'm so bad with machines. I hate myself for it. You haven't realized, huh? Realized what? Your camera was on today. Huh? That can't be! I've never connected my camera to my PC! So it's not that it didn't connect. It's that you've never connected it. Uh, whoops, let me rephrase it. Stop trying to make me slip. Do you know what people call that? Abuse of power. Would you say that showing footage of your affair during meetings would be sexual harassment? Huh? What are you talking about? I have footage for proof. Do you need to check? No, no! Wait! I have the camera off! So it's true, huh? That camera... It's not known to everyone, but it can be accessed remotely by the systems department. Seriously? It's a safety mechanism put out of sympathy for the company in case of emergencies. But wow! To think that, when we all have to keep social distance, you come into close contact with a married man from another department in your house. You were watching? Why didn't you tell me sooner? Everyone in your department has already given up on you due to your selfish acts. We discussed with the systems department to expose your loafing, because it was apparent you were. We didn't think we'd see that. It's an invasion of privacy! Who would think you were doing such a thing during work hours? It's still not okay! I'll sue you. Go ahead. I'll be reporting everything you've been doing to the higher-ups. Huh? Obviously. Why'd you think you'd get away with this? I heard your last boss did everything he could to respect your privilege as a woman, and you betrayed him. Sorry, but I can't stand injustice. I won't let you get away with this. Wait, please wait. I'm sorry, I won't do this again. What you'll do is different from what you've been doing. Mr. Mayushi, you're single, right? Yeah. Aren't you a little lonely from staying home? I'm down if you are. I don't understand. I'll go to your house right now. And you can let me go? Are you serious? Yes! You've been a little flustered watching the video, right? You know I have a lot of experience. I can entertain you, you know? Hmm, honestly? I don't get a lot of women. Really? You don't look like it. I don't need any flattery. I'm just disgusted. About... Everything. I'm sorry, but I have someone I'm interested in. I don't want to touch or be touched by anyone else, let alone someone who'd hook up with a married man. You get what you deserve. I suggest you take your job seriously in your next company. Wait! Mr. Mayoshi! Stop calling me by my first name. Now goodbye, Mrs. Yahata. Wait! Hey! Don't report me! Afterwards, I reported Mrs. Yahata's bad attitude and affair with another superior to my aunt. Apparently the higher-up was a bottleneck, and my aunt couldn't touch Mrs. Yahata. So she tasked me with the mission to expose her misdeeds. Mrs. Yahata and the superior were both fired for harming the integrity of the company. The affair was exposed to the superior's wife, and Mrs. Yahata had a 300 million yen alimony on her. With little to no savings and unable to get a good enough job, Apparently, she works a night job. Thank you for your help again. Hey, I heard you look completely different. It's a big story in the office. Is it true? Do you want to see? Yeah. You wait here. What? 
With a little makeup, it's like magic. Makeup sure is scary. You need to do better, lol. I'll help you train by giving you more challenges, okay? You're the one that benefits from this, right? It looks like there's more to come. <laughs>